afternoon baseball now from the heart of Texas and Globe Life Park in Arlington. We'll hear plenty more from the guys moving forward, but before we do, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Houston Astros, as their order will read like this. They'll go to work against the most valuable player from the 2008 World Series, the change-up specialist left-hander Cole Hamels. Jose Altuve will step to the plate now as we're ready. Jose Altuve. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And he's going to have extra bases right out of the chute today. And he's looking for three right out of the gates today. And he'll get there as he kicks off the ball game with a triple. Club as they begin play. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. Too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on two and zero. Guys like this to get ahead with strike one, put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Hammered the other way to deep right field, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. George Springer. Now it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Chris Carter. You want these guys to be thinking. I know. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Starting lineup for the Rangers on your screen now. Dallas Keuchel is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got home half of inning number one as the leadoff hitter. Yeah, anytime you can get it, it makes a starter's life easier. Heck, it makes your whole staff breathe easier. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. It's 0 for 4 in that ball game. Here's a fastball that's wrapped down to left center, and this is going to get down for a base hit. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Paul Goldschmidt will get his first. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Joey Gallo will take his. Again, a one-two. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Gentry is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Prince. Now here's the first pitch. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. It is. You're just about out of this inning, and then this happens? You talk about giving away a run? That's a prime example right there. From the belt, the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he can't track it down. A base hit. The throw home. And the runner will score from second as they take a 2-1 to one lead. Andy Moses. Here comes a 2-2. Two -two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Goes the other way, and he got a lot of it out to deep left. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may see that last call challenge. Bang, bang, play, and tough for us to tell at full speed. Well, here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when we saw it live, and I'll tell you what. It so here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. Have elected to okay, well, we're going to get one more look at it right here. 
Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call? Okay, so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision, and off comes the headset, and he's out. Into the box, Max Stassi. The 1-0 pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So Hamels had it work in that half of the inning. And it remains a... And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Now another 1-2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Archie Magana will be... From the belt. Kicks and deals. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Tucker will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The batter, number seven. I think he was able to use that first at bat as a learning experience. Those have both been real good takes. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Darren Baines will ready with another 0-2. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Here it comes. Now here's a bouncing ball and a chance for Profar. It's short. On to first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Ronnie Torres. Pitch on the way. This is past the mound and into center field for a base hit. Carlos Correa will get a shot here with has a look now the pitch 0 2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field number seven is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side Jonathan here comes a 1 2 fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning so the base is empty here with 1 2 Hard hit down the line. Over to the bag with it is Carter to record the unassisted put out. Joey Gallo. Disorder. They're not even putting up much of a fight. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order as they're unable to add to their... Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Chris Carter, two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Think him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out to straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. That home run, believed to be 402 feet all told. And the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Prince Fielder. Now here's the pitch. Here now the shift won't matter here as this is skied out to center field. Gentry has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. And contest for the Rangers so far. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Here's the two and one pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Max Stassi. for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that thing off. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning now. Now here's the pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. The pitch. Ah, ran it in on him there as this ball's on the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Astros go down one, two, three. Now another two, two. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's a base hit.
Archie Magana. The 1-0. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. But that'll be off the right field wall. And say goodbye to that one. Into the seats and right for a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And it gives the Rangers a 4-2 lead. Number Another payoff pitch. And he looks at ball four now, so he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on. He's set, now the pitch. Now a ground ball for Altuve. This might be two. One there, on to Carter, and it's in time for a double play. So bases are empty here. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to Carter, gets him to retire the side. But two here in the Rangers' half of the inning, and they come on this two-run home run. Through five innings. It's here now the 2-2. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. So, unfortunately, he'll be forced to leave the game here with an apparent head injury. Luke Jackson will be summoned now to take over the rate leadoff walks. Especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. Again, a 1-2. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. George yeah, Fat, maybe even a little too patient because... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Roberto Osuna will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. The righty's starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Swing and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. Therefore, it is Springer and he's got it for the first out. Prince Fielder. Now the 3-1. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time to get fielder for out number two. Andy Moses. Another full count pitch home. Now a check swing here. And no swing, says the home plate umpire. Not even in a field. It's another 0-2 home. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. One left for Texas, but they still... Now here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's got that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Got to make him swing the bat. And not be giving up walks at this stage of the game, because those could be fatal. Throw gets him, two down. Craig Gentry, here it comes. And this is swung on, and it'll be another chance out there at second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Jurickson Profar. Fast. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Gentry is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Archie Magana will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Here comes the one-two. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. Correa takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Number seven when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there. And sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out. Inning over. Jake Diekman will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. And now pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Darren one of those pitches but now on two and two I don't think you fool around anymore. 
And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, and that's his third strikeout. Number 50 will come in and pitch now. And the pitch. Now a ball lined towards center field. And he is going to reach. It's a base hit. Ronnie Torres will dig in now, and he'll come set. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Here's a flip to Odor covering, and the inning is over. Jonathan Lucroy will stand in now. Slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over the hand. You if you're putting pitches there. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Joey Gallo. The 2-2 one more time. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is over. 1-2-3 go the Rangers. As they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Sean Tolleson is on now to try to close things down here. It's 1-2 now. Now the 1-2. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. To do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. Now a dive in right, but he can't haul it in. And now this is going to be big trouble out there. Around second. He'll try for third. Throw won't get him. Chris Carter will step in now in a big spot here. He's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's fit. Far, but man, you just got to be able to put the ball in play. when you. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, maybe a little problem is that they wind up having to burn through the bullpen a little bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish off this victory. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turn. Ball strike three and a no hitter. Josh Beckett for the 21st time in Dodger. Two one. That is in the left field. Cespedes giving chase. Not going to get there. Falls Unbelievable it. throw by Yoenis Cespedes. Salvador Perez. The 2-2. Two -two. San Francisco Giants for the third time in the last five years. And their hero, Madison Bumgarner. And the pitch, and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Chode has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford. As this crowd goes crazy. Punted right at the first base, and that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How in the world did that happen? That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. Big lead again for Peralta. Holiday is safe lead at second. Adam swings and hits a drive. Deep right field. Back to the wall. And it's a gunner. A gunner. A three-run homer for Matt Adams. Three-two Cardinals in a magical seventh inning. 0-2 oh, coming. Swing and a fly ball toward right center into the alley. Bradley on a run. Jackie dies. With everyone standing at Dodger Stadium, Kershaw pitches. Carpenter swings and hits a drive. Right center field. It's in the gap. And it's down off the wall. Molina scores. Adams scores. Jay scores. Carpenter. He scores three with a double to right center, and the Cardinals lead 7-6. to six. What an at-bat by Carpenter. Salvador Perez, the 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. Send the ball. In foul. And the pitch, and Blanco bunts it, and it's a good bunt. Don't has it. He will wing it down the right field line. Here comes Crawford, and this game is over. And the Giants, once again, 
win a game in a very unusual way as this crowd goes crazy.